this is Pastor Rodney. This morning I want to talk to you just for a few moments on getting through the storm. Getting through the storm. You know, there's an old proverbial saying that says, into each life some rain must fall. <laughs> In fact, the older folks used to say that if you have not gone through anything, keep on living. Because <laughs> the truth of the matter is, every single day of our lives, we will experience some problem, some situation, some challenge that will challenge us to see whether you still believe. You know, in fact, when I look over my life and I see everything that has happened, both the good, the bad, and even the ugly, and each and every time, it was my faith that brought me through. My faith in that God knows better what's for me and that eventually he would deliver. You know, in fact, the word of God tells us that this is our victory, even our faith. Our faith has the power to translate us from where we are and what we're experiencing right now into a realm of peace, of joy, and of confidence. It is your faith, my friends, that keeps you strong in the midst of the storm. It is your faith that causes for you not to fall apart or to break down and feel like there is no hope. It is your faith that will give you hope. The word of the Lord says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the more we hear God's word, the more we meditate in God's word, the more we study God's word, the more our faith increases. It gives us sort of a resilience to deal with what we're going through. Because the truth of the matter is, all of us are going through. Yes, I have problems, and yes, you have problems. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So God is able to give you the victory in everything. That's why the word of God says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. So really, right now, you can't see your way through, but faith will sustain you. For the word of God says, even the young men shall faint and utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So let me ask you this morning, where is your faith? Where is your faith? The word of God says that we could say we have faith, but if we don't demonstrate that faith with our works, then faith without works is dead. So yeah, you can say you believe, but the question is, how are you living while you're believing? Because if you believe that God will make a way for you, then you won't sit in a dark room. You won't sit depressed and discouraged. But no, you'll get up, you'll wash your face, and you'll go forth with joy, knowing that this too will pass. It's going to pass away. This too is going to, it's not going to last forever. What you're going through right now, will one day end. The situation that you're facing right now will one day be concluded. For weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So this is your morning, your faith, 
to see the Son of God rising upon your horizon. And because He is your light, you will never walk in darkness. We pause. We reflect. Emerge to life. In Jesus' name.